guys, welcome back. Happy New Year to everybody. I hope, ooh. Hey guys, Happy New Year. Are you ready for seven easy tips to help you refresh your space for 2022? Let's go with that. And you wanna make sure you stay to the end because I've got a super pro tip that no one on YouTube ever talks about. Now, we're gonna start out easy. Number one is I'm gonna talk about creating a negative space. Negative space is one of those things that basically means editing and getting rid of things so that things don't feel quite so cluttered. And I know a lot of people talk about editing at this time of year, but here's the reality of it. There's an easy way to do it. I'm gonna give it to you right now, which is that we all get numb to our spaces and we forget that all this stuff is in there. We kind of stop looking. So first thing you need to do is leave. Oh, wait. Okay, did you leave? Now, when you come back, you want to look at it with completely fresh eyes. Like, pretend you're a realtor and you're looking around the space going, if I had to sell this house, what are the appealing points? What works for me? What doesn't work for me? And that's the basis point that you base your editing on from there. Because maybe you just have too much stuff. God knows we all do after having, you know, a year and a half of being cooped up in our spaces. You know, maybe you need to streamline things a little bit. Maybe you need to move things around a little bit to sort of help with the flow. Maybe you need to revisit your artwork. Maybe you have too much. Maybe you have not enough. Maybe you need to kind of like move them things out maybe donate some stuff. If you're donating it, remember you're not using it anymore and it's going out to other people that do need it and want it. So that's how you edit in the best way for this year. And it's a super easy trick, doesn't cost a thing. Okay, guys, so number two tip that's super easy also is what I call the fresh coat of paint. Now, don't freak out because it doesn't mean that you have to paint your whole house all over again and you know paint it the colors of 2022. Don't even think about that. Maybe what you need to do is paint an accent wall or add a little wallpaper or some sort of specialty item. I love the idea of this person taking their old brick fireplace and just refreshing that whole wall with white on one side and then coloring the fireplace in a specialty color. That's a great idea. So maybe you just need to add a little bit of something fresh and new. Maybe it's an entry hall. Maybe it's a little bit of something in a living room. Somewhere in there, you wanna add a little something, something to it to kind of make the space feel a little different. Okay, another place that you can also refresh is your furnishings. Be sure to think about maybe repainting pieces like dining tables or big credenzas. I love this before and after of the big credenza that's kind of a dated look. Maybe they even bought it new, but it looked like that. Refreshing it with a coat of white paint, oh, totally changes the style statement even. So that's a great solution. It's very DIY, so it doesn't cost a lot. And it's a great way to kind of like bring your space more into a newer style and maybe a newer look for you for this year. Number three is, let's look at that sofa you've got. Okay, do you need to fluff it? Maybe it's super tired. Gosh, there's a quick and easy solution for big pieces like that that really need an update. Slip covers, oh my gosh, look at this red one that they slip covered it into a white neutral. That's a great solution. And they don't cost nearly as much as the actual pieces if you had to replace it. Here's another striped one, very traditional looking, and they slip covered it in kind of a creamy cotton or whatever. That looks great. And maybe it moves them into a whole new style statement as a result. Now, if you've got sectionals, you're not left out with this because you can see there are slip covers that can be made for sectionals as well and they can totally totally change the look of it while you're at it if you need to add a little extra padding maybe on that one cushion you sit on every night then go ahead and do that now that's not to leave your pillows alone either because sometimes when you update the color of the sofa with a slipcover 
you have to readdress your accessory pillows. And so definitely think about getting some new ones that are maybe covers and keep the fillers for what you've got. There's some great stuff out there from H&M and Target and places like that. They can add a pop of color, build a whole little statement around it, and boom, you have a whole new flavor for your upholstered pieces. Oh, and don't forget, be sure and check on your bedding too. Ooh, bedding can really get tired and then we really don't notice it because we're tired. It needs a refresh too. Now, if you guys are liking these tips, be sure and subscribe and bang the bell, hit the button, make the comments down below, and be sure that bell is on because that way you'll get notified every time I drop a new video, which is every Saturday. So make sure you've got all of that on. It's a new year, let's go. All right, now moving on, number four is taking a fresh new look at your artwork. Now, I kind of mentioned it before, but you might have artwork that you've had up there for years. Maybe it's too high, too low, maybe it's kind of looking messy, or maybe you're tired of it. So let's think about how you can refresh it, maybe using the pieces that you have. So there's lots of ways to do it. You can take something that's kind of hung sort of randomly and line it up in sort of a nice new gallery look. That could be good. Maybe you need to pull some off. Maybe you need to add an extra piece or so. Maybe you don't have quite enough. Maybe you want to look for maybe a mirror or something else. Now, another great trick that I love for refreshing on artwork is to reframe a piece. And here's the super secret pro tip on that one, which is be sure to lurk near your consignment stores because what's great about those is that they get a lot of donated art and sometimes the artwork is i don't know nothing that you're interested in but the frame may be fabulous and you can get it for a song so think about that and then you can resize the mat around the piece that you want to put in super easy and inexpensive solution and that way your artwork looks refreshed your space can look completely new and updated and maybe even change your style statement to something you're moving forward towards in this year all right so number five is really easy add some life to your space and what do i mean by that plants oh my gosh plants are crushing the trend cycle for this year so definitely you want to kind of like get something going in your spaces and if you've got a black thumb start small a little pothos on a corner or something like that would be great or if you're really like into it maybe you have too much planting and maybe you want to kind of edit it out just a little bit so that it feels a little bit more breathable and not quite so jungly so take a look at it with a hard eye and go do I need it or do I need to edit it? Either way, an update to your planting or an addition to your planting is on the horizon for this year. So number six is what I call the rug redo. Now, for all of you guys with wall to wall, don't worry so much about this one. Maybe you need to update your mats in your bathrooms or something like that. But if you guys have area rugs, you definitely need to like take a hard look at them. And I gotta say, through the club, I get a lot of people submitting their existing spaces and 99% of what I see are rugs that are too small for the space. So guys, if you haven't seen my video on all things rugs, you have got to go check that out because I explain how you can get the right size rugs for your space easily and inexpensively. So don't be doing this. This is a problem because it looks like a bath mat. It doesn't look like an area rug. You want a rug that looks like a reasonably sized space. So definitely check that out with a hard look and see if you need a rug redo for 22. <laughs> now guys, here's your super secret pro tip. Now here's that secret. Okay. Okay guys, now here's that super secret pro tip that I was telling you about that very few people really kind of talk about or even maybe understand. And I'm just going to put it under the category of relamping. What the heck does that mean? Okay, here's the deal. The light bulb in your reading light in your bedroom is a more aged bulb, meaning it has changed color than say the one in your laundry room that you only turn on once a week or twice a week. So here's the deal is that you want to relamp your entire space to 
the same light bulbs that are needed at the same time. Because what that does is that completely changes up and refreshes all of your spaces and ties in all of the lamps at the same time so that they'll age differently again. But they're all starting from the same point and they're all the correct Kelvins, which means color, for your spaces. So if you aren't really sure what I'm talking about with lighting, you have got to check out this video that I did that defines everything about lighting, both your lamping, your fixtures, and how to use it, understanding colors, heat, temperatures, all the rest of it in this video. That's a great video to double check to make sure that your lighting kind of does the best thing for your space for this year. Okay guys, quick summary is number one, edit. Number two, consider a repaint job. Number three, also look at your big upholstered pieces. Number four, check out your artwork. Number five, add some life to your space. Number six is redoing your rugs. And number seven, which is the super secret pro tip, re-lamp your spaces so that everything is the same color at the same time. Done, guys! Now, what I want you to do now is go over to this video, which talks all about trends for 2022, and I will see you guys next week.